Today, we start chapter 10. And in this chapter, we're going to deal with expressions and equations of a new flavor and variety called quadratic. So let's begin by defining what this term means, quadratic. A quadratic expression is an expression that can be rewritten into the form into the form ax squared plus bx plus c where the a and b and c here stand for numbers there's one more requirement we need to make sure that this number a, the coefficient of x squared, the number that's being multiplied by x squared, that a is not zero. Now, it's called quadratic with the root word quad because of this exponent of two here. Quad, quad for square, x squared. Now, the expression may not come to you in this exact format. But to be called quadratic, we need to be able to rewrite it in this format. So let's do a little practice and let's try and figure out which one of the following expressions is a quadratic expression. And if it is quadratic, let's practice identifying the values that we've called a and b and c. The first one, we have the expression x squared plus three. Is this quadratic or not? Well, at the moment, it may not look as if it's in the correct format, because this expression only has two terms, whereas the expression in the definition has three terms. However, let's see if we can rewrite this expression so that it's in the given form. Now x squared, I'm going to leave alone. And plus three, I'm gonna to move to the back. Now adding zero to an expression doesn't change anything. And adding zero x's to an expression doesn't change anything either. So this, what I've written on the right hand side is a valid rewrite of x squared plus three. But now it's in the correct format. Number times x squared plus number times x plus three. It may also help to acknowledge the fact that x squared by itself is the same thing as one times x squared. So this expression is quadratic. with an a value of one, since we have x squared, one times x squared, with a b value of zero, since we have no x's, we have zero x's, zero times x, and a c of three, where c is our constant, c is the number that's not attached to any x's, which is being added in the back. So we have a quadratic expression with a equals one, b equals zero, and c equals three. What about this one? Is this expression quadratic? And if so, what are the values of a, b, and c? Well, to begin with, I'm going to start by trying to distribute this expression because this expression is all factored out, but the expression in the definition has been completely simplified and multiplied together. So I'll start by distributing in two to the first product and I have 2x minus 6 times x plus 1. And then I will distribute the second product, 2x times x equals 2x squared. 2x times 1 equals 2x. Negative 6 times x, negative 6x. And negative 6 times 1 equals minus 6. 
Now, if we combine some like terms, we have 2, we have negative 4, and we have negative 6. We have 2x squared. We have negative 4x's after we combine the like terms. And we have negative 6 for the constant. So, yes, this expression is quadratic because we were able to rewrite it into the correct form. With an a value of 2, the coefficient of x squared, a b value of minus 4, the coefficient of x, and a c value of minus 6, the constant number not attached to any x's, usually found in the back. What about this expression? Here we have 3x plus 1. Is this quadratic or not? Perhaps we can use a technique similar to what we used in the first example. We don't have any x squareds, so what if we thought about this as 0 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 1? Would this be a quadratic expression with a equals 0, b equals 3, and c equals 1? The answer is no. This is not quadratic. And the problem is the a value. Let's scroll back up to the definition and remind ourselves that one of our conditions was that the a value, the number multiplied by x squared, had to be non-zero. But in this case, the number multiplied by x squared is zero. And for that reason, the expression is not quadratic. Finally, let's try it with one more example. Here we have negative four x minus one quantity squared plus five. Let's see if we can rewrite this into the appropriate form. I'm going to follow PEMDAS, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work on x minus 1 quantity squared, which is another way to write x minus 1 multiplied by itself. Now if we distribute this out, we get x squared minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 times minus 1 which is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. So now I'm going to go back into my original equation, and I'm going to think about what I would get if I did minus 4 times that x minus 1 squared plus 5. Still following PEMDAS, the next thing that I'm going to do is distribute through and multiply minus 4 times this expression. So I get negative 4x squared, negative 4 times minus 2x is plus 8x, negative 4 times plus 1 is negative 4, and then plus 5 comes in from the end. So if we combine the like terms, we have negative 4 times x squared, we have plus 8 times x, and if we combine the constants, in total we have plus 1. So this is quadratic, with an a value of minus 4, a b value of 8, and a c value of 1. Okay. One last definition for this video. If you have a quadratic expression, we say that the quadratic expression is in standard form if it is written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This format this way of writing a quadratic expression, this way is called standard form.